down to hometown marches on our 37th season of hometown sports debuts Sunday, August 20th. Until then, we're in the process of bringing you 27 previews from 27 campuses. Tonight, our fourth stop in the River League, the Centennial Golden Hawks and her fourth-year head coach, Richard Sterrett. The Centennial Golden Hawks are ready for their close-up. Nine of 11 starters returning from their high-scoring offense. The offense pretty much stayed the same. Lost a couple of receivers, but uh, honestly, we, we, we reloaded perfectly. We, we added a couple new formations, got a couple guys on different spots, and I think it's going to be an explosive offense even more than last year. If the line does their job, the pitch and catch duo of quarterback Adam Copas and receiver Jackson Santiago will be a nightmare for opposing defenses. And you know, and it's good to have some leadership at the quarterback position. Second year, obviously, we're hoping to make some leaps in that position. And then when you got a D1 guy, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having Jackson Santiago out there on offense and defense to really create some mismatches and some issues for other teams. We're looking to have another great season. I know he's an amazing ball player. He's, uh, he's coming in here to work every day, so we're looking to have, a, have another fun season. The Golden Hawks defense. It also begins up front. Because we need to stop the run and we need to be able to run the football. Because if we're going to win the big time football games that we plan on winning this season, those are two areas you do it in. You know, this is going into my fourth year. I feel like this is my first real football team that I think I have a 100% complete stamp on. And so I'm hoping that that reflects the, the type of leadership that our coaching staff has brought to these guys over the last four years. This year we're excited on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. We know that we're going to create turnovers and our defense is going to allow our offense to put up even more points this year. Sterrett has turned this program around in his three years on the job with one accomplishment has eluded those teams. We haven't won a playoff game since I've been here, and that's all that's been on my mind. I know that's all that's been on this team's mind. Well, me and Jax haven't done that in our, in our three years, going on year four on varsity. So this year, the first step is win that playoff game, and we'll go from there. First year, four and six. Second year, seven and three, lost in the first round. Then last year, we go eight and two and lose in the first round. So obviously, I don't care if we go three and seven this year, but the, the, the goal is to get better as the season goes on, and let's make sure we're at a prime position where when it comes down to playing a D1 football playoff game, that we're ready to win it.